All right, guys, this is Norpal Central coming back at you with another YouTube video. And at this time of the recording, I have about 2,090 subscribers so far, and I really appreciate all the love and support so far. But here's the reason why you came to the video today. We have exciting news. A linebacker had finally committed to Florida State at this point in the 23 class, a uh, pretty late uh, enrollee going to be uh, in the summer. And it's super exciting to see because I think Randy Shannon needed to get another linebacker in this class. Uh, this is three-star Dylan Brown-Turner. Uh, he used to be a North Texas commit uh, from the Dallas, Texas area. He's been a guy that Florida State's been on for quite some time now since they offered uh, in, on December 24th. And it's been a guy that Florida State's been really pushing lately. And you saw him get an official visit the weekend before the dead period. And you started to see the interest kind of creep up now. The thing that Florida State fans look at about him is his 84 composite rate. What's so special about him? Well, when you look at it in terms of just the linebacker depth at Florida State, you have Kalen DeLoach, who's a redshirt senior. You have Tatum Bethune, that's a redshirt senior. You have Brendan Gant, that's a redshirt senior. And then you look at some of the uh, redshirt juniors. You have Stephen Nix Jr. that suffered an injury uh, from this past offseason. You got DJ Lundy, who's been a little bit more inconsistent, but I do love his game. He switched over to number 10. You got Omar Graham Jr., and then you got two of your freshmen that are going to be coming in, and Blake Nicholson and also DeMarco Ward. Now you're bringing in Brown Turner, who I think could be an efficient piece. Now, when you look at his max prep steps, uh, his stats and everything, I mean, he had 120 total tackles. You know, he had eight and a half tackles for loss, a sack. You know, he was pretty productive in the middle linebacker spot specifically. Um, and coming from that area, I mean, I think it could be a situation where I think Florida State can kind of slow play this, slow play his development a little bit, and I think get him up to speed. I think that's exactly what you need because when you have Bethune, when you have Deloach and you have Camp that are all leaving after this upcoming season, somebody's going to have to step up. I know Lundy will probably take one of the uh, the shoulders there, but, you know, you have Nicholson that's a summer enrollee. You have Ward that's also – um, coming in this spring, and I think that's very important that he's already there. But then you kind of look at Omar Graham Jr. Will he be able to step up? You know, will Stephen Dix Jr., with all his injuries that he's had so far, be able to step up? And I think that's why Florida State wants to get another linebacker in this class. And then also, I think they're not going to be done. I think they might actually go after a transfer as well because you're going to have to have bodies step up because losing Deloge and Bethune straight up, um, both of those guys are very, very productive. And you saw that this past season with, when they kind of combined for uh, each other as a duo. So when you look at this, I think this is a situation where Florida State fans can turn to and understand this is a huge get in terms of just depth and also a guy that they can develop. He's 6'1", 200 pounds. I think he can be able to control the middle of the field. I think he may even turn into a Shaheen Brown if you really wanted to. I don't really think this is a Jordan Eubank situation where he wasn't really going to be getting much consistency. I see a lot more um, being able to tackle in space and his film and everything. Um, I really do like the take. I think this is a good take for Florida State, especially this later in the cycle. Um, they kind of wanted to see measurements and height and weight, but I do think this is a pretty good take for Florida State. Now, is it a flashy take? No, it is not. Not at this point, but I do think Florida State sits in a pretty good spot now with the linebackers. They need to probably get another transfer, but just overall, we need to continue to develop in the linebacker room. Randy Shannon's going to have to get some of these 24 prospects in and be able to expand the board as we go. But I'm really happy for uh, Dylan Brown-Turner as he's able to commit to Florida State and he will be signing pretty soon. And this point, it will be Florida State that takes advantage of this recruitment. But I really appreciate all the love and support so far that you have showed on my Instagram and my Twitter accounts. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. It is completely free. Let's try to like this video up to 70 likes for a commitment for uh, today. And I really appreciate all the love and support as always. And go Dawgs.